There are so many health benefits to breastfeeding, not only for babies, but also for mothers, families, and all of society. I'm Megan Azad. I am the co-director of the Manitoba Interdisciplinary Lactation Centre, and I'm a professor of pediatrics and child health at the University of Manitoba, and a research scientist at the Children's Hospital Research Institute of Manitoba. So breastfeeding is kind of this amazing superpower. We think of it as a superfood. It's also a personalized medicine, and that's because it contains everything a baby needs in the first several months of life, all the nutrients, and also so much more. Breast milk contains antibodies that come from the mom. It's really important because the baby has an immature immune system when it's born. It relies on those antibodies from its mother to prevent infections. It also contains hormones, different compounds that help brain development. And it's also good not just for the babies, but for the mom. So moms who breastfeed have a lower rate of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even certain types of cancers. We think of the baby, not only is it protected from different infections, but these babies have lower risks of asthma, obesity, and diabetes later in life. And then if we think of families, it can be a more convenient and less expensive choice. And at the societal level, it's better for the environment and it also contributes to the economy by creating a healthier workforce. Breast milk is really unique, it changes over time. So we call it dynamic, meaning as the baby grows up, every month it's developing more and differently and the breast milk composition changes to match that. So for example, the proportions of proteins and fats change over time to meet the baby's needs for growing brain, growing muscles. This is also something that's different about milk for every different species. So if you think of a baby cow, when it's born, it needs to develop its muscles really quickly so it has high protein. But a human baby, on the other hand, is sleeping for most of that first year and that's because it's devoting its energy to brain development. So human milk is higher in special fats that support the brain. And so you can imagine that if you start feeding cow milk to a human baby, there's sort of a mismatch. And so this is one of the amazing things about milk across different species, it's adapted to those babies. And we also know that milk changes even in the course of one day. So milk produced in the morning is somewhat different than milk produced at night. And we think this helps babies develop their circadian rhythm. It helps their sleeping patterns and waking patterns. We also know that feeding at the breast helps babies learn appetite regulation. So they learn to just stop eating when they're full. If you're feeding a baby from a bottle, it doesn't develop those cues in the same way. So there's all sorts of benefits to breastfeeding, some of them about what's in the milk itself and some of them about the process of breastfeeding, the skin-to-skin -skin contact, the eye contact with the mom. We're still learning so much about human milk and breastfeeding and that's why I'm really excited about the research we do here at Milk and at the University of Manitoba. We have a big team of people that do that and there's still so many questions for us to answer.